Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you. I, I'm just uh, so amazed. I didn't have to say any, uh, anything, and everybody's come back to their seat, and suddenly it's very quiet. <laughs> you know? <laughs> thank you all. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, um, we're starting a little late. Um, we wanted to make sure that uh, as many people that were on the road were able to get here, uh, but it appears that they, mar they are some uh, still uh, delayed. Uh, but we can't wait because you all are here and uh, um, it gives me great pleasure to say again welcome uh, to the final uh, cohort graduation of the Vision Project. Uh, my name is Yasmin Mawani, and I'm the coordinator, and uh, I wanted to, first of all, introduce the staff, but I see that no one is here. Everybody's out there doing something, so uh, when everybody's in the office, it'll give me pleasure to introduce them. Just a couple of housekeeping items before uh, I start. Uh, the washrooms are towards my left, which is your right. Uh, please feel free um, if you need to um, go. The second is if you could please keep for uh, your uh, cell phones and your Blackberries on silence for, uh, for the first uh, half of this uh, morning. That would be much ap uh, appreciated. We've got some amazing people wishing to share their stories, and it will be nice if uh, we heard them without any interruption. Thank you. Um, we are, uh, we were expecting uh, the mayor for Richmond Hill. Unfortunately, his uh, worship is not here as yet. Uh, but uh, I would like to uh, welcome um, our uh, special assistants to uh, our board, uh, our director, Mr. Ken Thurston. And it is Ms. Rashmi Swarup. Rashmi, thank you very much for being here on, uh, on behalf of the board. Um, we have got... Um, many uh, uh, agencies here, and I wish to welcome all of you here. We've got our uh, Catholic school board here. Uh, we were expecting people from the Simcoe and the Durham school board. We know that CCSYR is here, Canadian Mental Health is here, Job Skills, Vaughan Library, and if I've missed every anybody, please forgive me, uh, but welcome. Um, this has been an incredible, incredible journey for us. Um, at, at Vision here, and I just uh, can't believe that it's been 13 months since we uh, started uh, along this path. Um, I want to share a couple of highlights uh, from the project with you and uh, a couple of uh, challenges. First and uh, foremost, I wanted to say thank you to Citizenship and Immigration Canada under their Welcoming Communities Initiative is where we have got the funding to create this research, action research project. Um, our mandate was to train 150 people over a course of a year. And uh, we are very, very pleased to say that over 120 graduated over the year. Uh, we were um, sure to surpass our numbers, except that there were some restrictions from our funder as to who could be eligible for this project. So for that reason, uh, it had to be somebody very new in the country definitely not a Canadian. So we were limited uh, as to uh, our intake, but we are very pleased that we came just a little shy of our numbers. Our participants came from 27 countries, all the way from Armenia to Uganda, and everything in between. And we were also very pleased to have somebody from Kazakhstan. So um, amazing, amazing group of people who have come from many, many walks of life and many countries. Our participants, um, between themselves, spoke over 50 languages. So this is, this is the kind of wealth we've got in our community. Um, I started by counting out how many uh, degrees our participants get, uh, had with them uh, that they brought uh, to this project. And the third cohort alone had over 110 degrees between themselves. And I stopped counting at that. I didn't even count it anymore because it's not only your, ma your bachelor's, your master's, but these are people with PhDs and several degrees that are, si that are sitting among you. And it's a humbling, humbling uh, experience to work with such fine people. And I have to tell you that it is 
it never ceases to amaze me what we have in Canada and what we bring in Canada. And uh, it gives me great pleasure to have worked with some of the finest. And I salute you guys. You are just incredible. Thank you. Uh, our biggest challenge um, uh, was, as I said earlier, not only that we couldn't recruit people who had been in this country but not settled, uh, but uh, the other biggest that we encountered during this last cohort was the fact that the RCMP have changed rules about volunteer sector screening. As you know, all of us that come in the volunteer field, that every one of uh, the people that volunteers in our organization has to go through this screening. And um, little did we uh, know that the rules have been changed. Consequently, uh, it took us much longer uh, to uh, place our volunteers in the schools. But they did. Uh, the majority of them um, completed their volunteering um, hours, and we are very, very pleased. Um, there were uh, three that were unable to continue, be, uh, unable to be placed in our schools because their volunteer sector screening didn't arrive until literally last week. So we were sad that they couldn't do that. And three of our participants had jobs, so uh, they couldn't complete the, uh, the placement. But the majority of them did. And we have, all over, uh, they have, we have close to 53 that are graduating today, and that's the number for our, last, for our last cohort. So it's great how many people were able to be in our schools. And this is the first time that we were able to place our volunteers in high school. Traditionally, our elementary schools welcome volunteers, our secondary don't. And we are so fortunate that uh, through Rashmi, who is the assistant to the director, doors were open for us at the high school. So uh, four of our graduates today had the option of being in a high school and what an incredible journey it has been for them. So that's been, that's been amazing, amazing. Um, we cannot move forward um, until we hear how this has impacted, uh, how the vision has impacted on the people that have been trained um, in the first two cohorts and, of course, our graduates from this cohort. So it gives me great pleasure. We've got six people, and I see that um, five are here. We are missing one. Um, but uh, I'm going to ask them to come up and speak uh, very briefly. Um, on their experience. And um, I will call them in the order, if you can please come up in that order. Uh, Raymond Champagne, who, came, who was from our second cohort. Imalda Sarmiento, from our first cohort. Asamta, Asamta, yes, oh, you. thank you, from our second cohort. Sherry, unfortunately, is not here. Uh, Francois Kiralis, from our uh, third cohort, and Salima Halani from our third cohort. So I'm going to ask you to come up in that order, please, starting with Raymond, and they would like to share uh, their experience about, uh, about this vision project. Raymond, thank you.